There's a new apartment complex for the polyamorous in New York, so Brooklyn, New York's Hacienda Village, um, is for people who support and practice responsible non-monogamy. So you're not required to be polyamorous to live in this complex, but simply appreciative of other people's uh, beliefs and ideologies and not be judgmental at all. So the complex has 15 rooms and already 12 of the 15 rooms have been filled in just a month after it's been posted. So looks like the demand is pretty high. So now this is in Bushwick in Brooklyn, which is a very mm -hmm. hot area of, of New York. So I don't know if all 12 grabbed the apartments because they were looking for polyamorous sex or uh, they grabbed them because it's in Bushwick and you know right. I, I don't know if the prices are high or low in that particular apartment building. But it is an interesting question. So are they gonna knock on the door and be like, hey listen, we wanna make sure you were cool with having sex with all of us? <laughs> so so and that, that would be an interesting place to live then. So you're not required to have sex with anyone and you're not required to be polyamorous. So I guess the answer to that is, is no. But I, I think it can get kind of complicated if you have a building where certain people are completely comfortable with the idea and you know maybe your partner's exposed to that and he wasn't before, but now maybe he is because the next door neighbor's okay with it. Ah, it's, it gets complicated. I like how Lizette's thinking about it immediately from her perspective. Like my partner wasn't okay before, but then all these <laughs> women are coming up and be like, hey, you want to knock, knock? I'm at the door, you want to have sex? Because that's like, I'm not sure I'm buying this poly bullshit. <laughs> No, because so the arrangement is also really interesting, right? So the arrangement is that all the bedrooms are separate, but there are common areas like a gazebo and baths and laundry rooms that are shared and there are common spaces, right? So there, it, it's kind of like an apartment complex, but it's more like a fraternity or like a frat house. That's what I think makes it interesting. Yeah, there's definitely common spaces. <laughs> um, <laughs> I just, no, look, I'm dying to know that again. So maybe we yeah. should interview these guys. Like, like, mm -hmm. can you literally go and knock on the door and be like, hey, how you doing, polyamorous neighbor? Uh, I, ro I rock poly too. Let's do some poly together, right? <laughs> or is that not cool? Is it not cool if you don't do it? Like, oh, what's up with the g guy from 1C? He doesn't even have sex with the others. Like, how rude. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, those are great questions. I think they would say, I think they would argue that it's not about doing X or Y. It's simply about having consent among partners mm -hmm. and saying, th having open communication and saying, I'm comfortable with your being with one person uh, besides myself or two other people, and then sticking to that arrangement. So it's about not breaking the rules, whatever those rules might be. Oh, yeah, so they don't even have to be swingers. Nope. Like, so mm -hmm. they could be like, hey, there's, in this relationship, there's two girls and a guy or three guys and a girl, mm -hmm. but that's all there is. And we're not looking to swing with other outside people. It's just we're sharing our love with these three guys and a girl and that's what it is. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah, so each his own. I mean, I I love it. I've added it. So Le Leanne Fe Feingold, the co-president of Open Love in New York, um, was talking about why they decided to do this, and she says New York City has a very large polyamorous community, and one of our members is a real estate developer, and he was buying and renovating a house. He thought it would be a really cool idea to have a bunch of people living in it. So it's I think a huge uh, the huge impetus behind this is that Open Love New York is trying to um, educate the community about the idea of polyamory and this was simply one way to do it. It's not like, oh, we're gonna have more access. They say we traditionally don't sleep with people in the uh, apartment complex, so they interviewed one woman and she says, nah, you know, I tend to sleep with other people outside of the complex and date people outside of the complex. So interesting that she would say that. It's saying we're, we have this building for a polyamorous community, but we really don't do it with each other. We do it outside of here. Oh, that's interesting. That was fascinating to me. Yeah, but if you're like a dude who walked in and then there's like <laughs> all these hot girls in the polyamorous building, and then all of a sudden, oh, like, oh, we forget, did we forget to mention that the rule here is we don't have sex with people in the buildings? You'd be like, what is this? This isn't what I signed up for. Here's what you do. You go outside and you smoke a cigarette or an e-cigarette or whatever it might be. And you just, you're just smoking a cigarette outside waiting for a friend or got the wrong right. building. I don't know. And then you're like, I mean, me? I'm not in the building. I, I, I don't know where you're talking about. right outside it. Can you imagine there's like all these hot women or guys <laughs> next to you, right? And they're like, no, no, we have sex with everyone except you. <laughs> okay, you're in the polyamorous <laughs> building, sorry, the most ironic rule of all time, I'm gonna go have sex with seven guys down the street, but not you. <laughs> Man, I'd be I like, know, that was a yeah. raw deal. I'd, I'd get my money back and move to the building next door. Well, it's not, a, it's not a rule, they just say that this is what happens. Okay, I but do you, you don't buy it. You're like, no, no, ah. I mean, look, they're polyamorous, man. If they like each other, they're gonna fuck. <laughs> okay, that's the biggest, oh yeah, I don't have sex with the people in the building. 
until I'm horny. <laughs> right? That's the real rule. I mean, what's the point of being polyamorous if we're going to have all these rules about not having sex with other people? <laughs> well, you can have like an emotional relationship too. That's a, that's oh, yeah, a yeah, sure you can. Right, of course you can. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what it's all about. Emotions. I mean, I, in case in point, but you know, I think they opened up this apartment complex to have these conversations about what is polyamory? Is it just physical? Is it emotional? What constitutes it? Is it okay? Would you consider a polyamorous relationship? Uh, I think that's just called dating, in my opinion. But when I've tried polyamorous relationships, and oh, you they, have, yeah, and they wait a minute, hold on. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, now all of a sudden we stumbled into uh -oh. a real conversation. Uh -oh. okay. No, they they just they don't work. I think um, intellectually they made sense to me, but you can't intellectualize feelings or emotions, and somebody ends up getting hurt. There are a lot of like feelings, and it's really complicated logistically. It just for me, it's not something that works at all. So wait, so as, uh -huh. do you mean polyamorous, like, oh, you date other guys, oh, other girls, and <laughs> I date other guys, or like at the same time, we're all one big happy family? Please forgive me if I'm being personal, but tell me about your sex life. <laughs> <laughs> let's, say, let's say it was a combination of those things. Oh, oh. it's a combination. I've yeah, tried a combination of those things, okay. and they don't work for me. But I respect that they work for some people, and they just don't work for me. Okay, no, no, I totally hear you. So anyway, were there girls? <laughs> I'm gonna play the fifth on that one. <laughs> oh, wow, wow, interesting. Yeah, I mean, that there were, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Members of this community, not this particular one in the New York area, am I right, Brooklyn? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, they're gonna let you guys know, you know, it's not just about just screwing all the time. Watch, watch. Somebody's gonna let you know. Oh, oh, you're right. Oh, they're, they're coming. They're coming on Twitter. They're coming on YouTube. Well, they're polyamorous. They're coming everywhere. 